Hey, what's up guys, I'm Nizio Cole, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to change your camera height with a blueprint, so let's get into it. So the first thing you wanna do is go into your camera blueprint. It can be first person, it can be third person. It should work regardless. Now once you're in here, you want to create a custom event, and you can name this whatever you want. I'm just gonna name it Height Changer. And then you wanna drag off of this and set relative location. And then you want to make sure it's off of the cam whatever camera you're using or whatever it's called. So mine's called first person camera. So we're going to set the relative location of the first person camera. Now once you've done that, you want to click on your custom event, go over to inputs, add another input, and change this to vector. And you can obviously you can name this whatever you want. So we're just going to go height changer again. And then the last thing that you're going to do in the first person character is drag the height changer node to the new location. Now once you're done with that, you can compile and save. And then go into your level and search box for box trigger and drag it into your level. Obviously, you can put this wherever you want. Uh, make it however big you want. Uh, we're just going to go like this just so we can show how it works. Now what we're going to do is open the level blueprint. And we want to make sure that this is selected, so make sure that this is selected. And then go into the level blueprint, search on actor begin overlap. And then drag off of this and cast to first person character. Make sure it's uh, your, your actual character. Then drag out and get player character. All right, so now that we're done with that side of it, we can drag off of this and search for our height changer, our custom event that we added in the first person character. Now here are some XYZ inputs. So what you want to do is go into your character blueprint and then go into viewport and this is the thing that we're going to be changing. So you can see that default for me is negative 39 X, Y0 and Z75. So if we set this to negative 39, 0, and 75. Also, you want to make sure that this is connected to target. But if we do that, and we compile, and then go in here, nothing changes. That's because it's the exact same as our current camera. Now, if we set the Z axis to 200, compile and save, and try it again, can see now we're at height 200. Now if this is all you wanted, there you go. But I know some people might be asking, well, it's really jagged. It's not like a smooth transition. So I can show you how to do that as well. So what you want to do is come back to your level blueprint and break this link by right clicking and selecting break link to cast. And then you want to drag off of this and search timeline. And then add timeline at the bottom. Again, you can name this whatever you want. And we're going to double click it. So once you double click it, it'll open this menu. What you want to do is click this V button for add vector track. Then again, name it whatever you want. Now what you want to do is shift click on this line, then move it upwards. Shift click again, move it upwards, and then shift click again. So these are your X, Y, and Z tracks. So this basically says where you're going to be over time, what values are going to change over time. So for X, if you remember, that was negative 39. And we don't want to change that value, so we're just going to have, we're going to set this to time zero, and then press enter. For y, if you remember, our value was zero, and then time zero, and then press enter. Now z is the one that we want to be changing. So at zero time, we want it to be what our camera is already, so we set that to 75. Now we're going to have to zoom out a little bit because it is uh, at this level. And then what you want to do is shift click again. And this is where you set up how long it takes to get to whatever value you want. So let's say we want it to take five seconds to get to height 200 and then press enter. And now here is your graph. So if we compile, save, go back to the event graph, make sure that the update is dragged into here and height changer is dragged into here and compile and save. Then if we go back to our level, press play, 
you can see we're now gradually getting up to that height of 200. So there you go. Just for you guys, I'll show you this is what the finished blueprint should look like in your level blueprint. And this is what the finished blueprint should look like in your camera blueprint. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions about this blueprint down in the comment section below. I also have a link to a site where you can copy this code into your project. It's called blueprint.ue. In the description, if you just want to copy it over, you will have to change some of the, the variables though. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.